Welcome to the Top of the Morning Show with the girl TT from the D. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I want to thank you as always for tuning in and checking out my show. I'm fully aware that there are several other podcasts you could have chosen to log on and tap into this morning as you were getting ready for work or getting ready for school, whether you're an adult or a young teenager or a young child. I'm very clear that you could have tapped into another channel, so I am grateful for you. This morning's topic on this wonderful Wednesday is going to be kind of different. This is giving you the opportunity to figure out what side of you on. Judging versus discerning. Well, do you know the difference? Is judgment and discernment the same thing? What is the difference between decisions, making, and discernment? Is discernment the ability to judge? And what are the two types of discernment? Let's talk about it. So let's unpack judging versus discerning. Okay? Judgment has a sort of, uh, this is the final answer type of thing going on, right? Feeling like this going to give closure. This is it, right? It closes us off to any other possibility. Like this is your final answer, right? While discernment, on the other hand, is responding from love rather than reacting from love. So we can make appropriate choices, decisions for ourselves and for others. At least for the good of the others, in in our own opinion. At least that's what we tend to do or we tend to think or we tend to believe. But let's just break it down a little bit more. Is judgment and discernment the same thing? on that for a minute see we all know that it it's like what it's like to feel judged by someone and the pain that it can leave in your heart in your spirit right it could last a day a few days a week a few weeks a month a few months a year a few years it can really really scar you as a grown adult right If something happened to you as a child, right? Being judged. And and let me give you a prime example. I love being transparent, so I don't mind sharing my truth, right? When I was a child, I remember being in middle school. I had to be in sixth grade. And I remember my mother always telling me, I don't want you to borrow money from people. I don't want you to take nothing from nobody because people will laugh and smile in your face and talk about you behind your back. Everybody that said they are your friend and not your friend. So I used to think, and I don't know why I thought this. I used to think, like, whatever. My mom just mad because she don't have a lot of friends. Whatever. I got all the friends. That's what I thought, right? And I remember being in school. And again, this is sixth grade. And I always ate ice cream. My mother always gave me 65 cents. And I could buy ice cream sounds, right? Sometimes I trade off stuff or whatever in school. Because I absolutely love Pizza Fridays. And I loved ice cream sandwiches. Shout out to my middle school that's no longer there. Nolan Middle School in Detroit, Michigan. If you know about Nolan Middle School, then you know, right? Nolan Middle School was a dope middle school. And if you left Nolan, you went right on and became a a Persian doughboy or a Persian dough girl, right? So anyway, I was in line and I forgot my money. And I was like, dang. And so the girl that was in front of me, who was a classmate, was like, what's wrong? I was like, I left my ice cream, buddy. So she was like, excuse me, I'm so sorry, y'all. So she said, you know, what's wrong? Just because you hear me while I was gone, I'm sorry. I said, I lost, I left my ice cream money. You know, I forgot my ice cream money. So she said, well, I could get it for you. You could just give me the money tomorrow. And I remember what my mother said. And I was like, no, that's okay. She was like, that's my big deal. Go ahead. I was like, are you sure? So she was like, yeah. I was like, okay. So I got my ice cream sandwich. You know, you you geek, right? You got something you know you want. You're like, yes, come on, man. So we eat lunch, and I got eat my ice cream sandwich. I ain't think nothing of it. The bell ring before we go to class, the next class. I decide I got to go to the bathroom, right? I go to the bathroom, and while I'm in the bathroom, some girls walked in the bathroom. I couldn't see who they was. And so they were laughing and one of the girls was like, dang, I can't believe she was begging for money. 
And then um, they said the girl's name. And it was like, yeah. She said she was begging for money for an ice cream sandwich. And I was so embarrassed. I pulled my feet up on the toilet seat, y'all. And I hid in the bathroom. That was my first time unofficially skipping class, a class. Because I was so embarrassed and I didn't want people, you know, to talk about me, laugh at me. I didn't know what people were saying. All I know is it wasn't true. I wasn't begging. I didn't even ask her. She offered it. That's what was so crazy. And back then, I was a person that I guess I would consider, well, what I would consider now passive aggressive. Like, I ain't, I wasn't into all the negative stuff, you know, not saying like I love it now. But I wasn't, that was not my thing. And so I waited till the bell rung. Then I ended up going to whatever classes I had left. And I remember going home and crying and, you know, just crying myself to sleep. I made sure I gave her her money the next day. I didn't say anything like, why did you tell people anything? And I told her, thank you. She's like, yeah, anytime. And I'm thinking to myself, bitch, no. Don't say any time because you was out here lying on me and I don't know why you did that. I don't even know why you told anybody, but it was like not like a big deal. From that moment on, y'all, I did not allow people to look out for me. Uh Uh-uh. You had to be super close to me and like, I mean like family for me to let you do anything for me. I could literally be hungry and I I was scarred in such a way that I was like, "Mm mm-mm. And when my mother told me, I said, dang, my mama was right. Don't ever let nobody do nothing for you because when you do, they'll use it against you. All right? So I say all that to say that was me feeling judged and the pain that it left for me, which in my case, even though I say it could be days, weeks, months, and years, it was years for me. Now, the word discern comes from the Greek krino, which means to separate. Discernment is a more personal and conscious approach versus judging, okay? Now, what is the difference between decisions making and discernment? Decision making starts with refining and rethinking all possible options, the pros and the cons, while discernment begins with getting crystal clear clarity, like in real time about the choices that we're getting ready to make or that have come before us. And if possible, we get to kind of dissect it and kind of know about it before we know about it, if that makes any sense. Is discernment and the ability to judge? Is discernment the ability to judge? Hmm, that's another one to ponder on. Because we have to teach ourselves as well as our children, if you have any, our what the difference is the ability to judge what is right from wrong you know what's right from wrong you're taught what's right from wrong and when faced with challenges you have to have accountability outside of your norm right and we need to go into our spiritual and mental toolboxes from time to time and get the necessary tools so we can make the right decisions to fix situations and circumstances when and if we can now it's not always knowing the right answer but it definitely leads us towards finding the right answer if that makes any sense what are the two types of discernment Hmm. now according to the book the bible judgment of discernment can be made in two ways the first is by charisma or charm it's like not charisma or spiritual gifts right and they talk about it in first corinthians 12 and 10 right the second way to discern spirit is by reflection and the theology theological study that's a little deep with look into that to unpack that now they said in the bible god was talking in first corinthians 12 and 10 the scripture talks about the discerning of spirits as a gift of the spirit which is a gift it means to understand or know something without knowing how you know it but just knowing it Some of you may say, oh, that has happened to me before I knew something without knowing it. I can attest that that has happened to me several times in life where I'm like, I knew something without knowing it. But you just like, "Mm." and you just like something, something's telling me and then it'd be right. Right now, 
there are a few rules to discernment. The first rule, rule number one, be attentive to false constellations. Okay? You know, the tempting, temptation. So the first back to rule of discernment of the spirit is following effective consolation, feeling, or peace. Love, joy within that decision unless it has like a long-term situation attached to it. Okay? Now, I'm going to share what is the rule of five discernment. The fifth rule, or I should say the rule, the fifth, the fifth rule. Um, the fifth in time of desolation, never make change, but to firm and constantly figure out how to proceed in which the decision that you want to make that has the consolation that you're seeking. That is probably a lot. I know, I know, I know. It probably is a lot. But when you think about discernment, it is a gift. And it's a gift that sometimes people manipulate and use in the wrong manner. Judging, nobody likes to be judged, but we're judged every single day. We pass judgment on people whether they deserve it or not. And I think we get lost. Right? We get lost along the way. And you have to come to the, do you judge or do you discern? It's interesting to find out that some people say, I don't judge people. And that's one thing that I had to come to grips with. I don't like about myself. I'm getting much better. It's that prejudging people and then being wrong without having any humility or humbleness can lead and create an ugly pathway of destruction. So I know that's a little deep this morning on this wonderful Wednesday, but I just wanted us to be mindful about the difference between judging and having discernment. If I was to want to be blessed with one of the abilities to be able to judge people, right? Like the legal judge to go before the court, we go in the court of law or discern. I'd rather discern. Because that's attached to the fruit of the spirit. And people tend to fool people a lot in today's time. And I I, I don't have time for that, right? I'm older now and wiser now. And life is what we make it. So I choose and plan to make the best of it. And I hope you do too. That's all I got for you on this brisk Wednesday. I hope that you will tune in tomorrow morning for the Top of the Morning Show with your girl TT from the D. Until then, I'll see you soon.